Hello, greetings. Uh, this is me again, a Muslim, Zahra Jawad. So something is stuck. It comes in my dream, and I felt that uh, none can say it better than Zafar Heretic, ex-Muslim, on YouTube. I'm not feeling well. Let's see how far I can talk. Uh, trying to muster up strength. I feel uh, like a betrayal that I don't want to even talk about it. But it's come in my dream. It gets stuck in my mind whenever I wake up. Sharafat ka don't be chased. Keep chased. Surah Noor Ayat 33 You see? But none can say it better than Zafar everything. So this time it came in my dream. Sharafat Kaik Kir Islam How they've made women Although Surah Rome Ayat you will see that Oh yes Uh How oh, it is put that in loving way, you know, with your spouse and all this. But in Surah Noor, Ayah 33, you'll see that if consent is given, then uh, prostitution is allowed. I wonder why no one has mentioned this, as far as I know on YouTube, about this Ayat. Am I? So there's uh, how we were duped uh, and uh, I looked at another ayat of uh, Surah Nisa, verse 24, which uh, Dr. David Wood also mentions. And then I see how Aka Puya and Ali commentary have tried to explain it, the divorce then you know, their conditions on marrying these captive women, married women. Uh, so, then uh, there was uh, like, it's very difficult to show uh, to the Shias also how we have been duped, fooled, deceived, betrayed. So thank God, uh, God helped me, gave me the heart, the courage to start this long time ago and carry on with it about Islam, the truth, as a truth seeker and uh, came here. So far you can see my videos now, uh, Surah Fasilat, the last one like nine days ago, I went out uh, after I was listening to it and then came back with the fever, um, really depressing, uh, the Hindu mantra that used to help me come out of the depression was not pulling me out of this dark, uh, terrible depression, I cannot tell you, it was like so sick. Um, I felt it uh, when I was separated from my teacher, Ms. Dissa, a long time ago, 1984. Uh, so, oh, I wanted to get out of it and I was saying, what is this? Why isn't it helping me? Uh, why isn't the mantra helping me come out? I want to get out of this. So it was right in my heart to hear, and it was terrible claustrophobia. A suffocation and I felt I should die. Um, is it Nazar? Is it evil eye? Uh, is it that someone I met in the shop? Uh, after leaving that shop I was uh, feeling it but then uh, the nothing helped me. Uh, so this is a slow video audio actually with the black out all my most of them are like this uh, i cannot work on my videos 
So I hope you, sorry, but uh, I hope you can, uh, uh, you know, understand and uh, I hope the audio helps you, the contents, and uh, this way um, you understand what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so I cannot show you, sorry, Surin Noor Aya 33 again. But just mentioning, uh, so I thought I'd better to die than to be depressed again, uh, boggled down and uh, doing things to get the nazar out, evil eye, negativity. Nothing was helping. So I had to do some soul searching. Okay, having a little bit of this juice, it's gone bad. No. Oh. So, and finishing up. So I'll be repeating myself. Khuni, nay. That was Zafar heretic. Khuni kale, khilafat ka. Um, Sorry, I can't uh, translate it. You must watch uh, Zafar Heretic's videos if you haven't by now. And you know, like uh, flashbacks are coming still. So I need some time. And I feel like throwing up also. Uh, it's reached here. So the shock and all. <laughs> First I was in a lot of pain. Uh, but I managed to get out and do audios and all. And uh, so also Surah Azab verse, uh, beauty verse, for, uh, verse 52. <coughs> so I, I hope you can hear me, 52 properly, uh, of Surah Azab. And uh, you know what's written in that verse? And uh, we just couldn't see it. The Lama Mutahari was right. And even our ulamas, uh, sorry to say, couldn't see it. Surah Tahrim. So I haven't even had the heart uh, again and uh, to reach uh, Surah Tahrim, like how he pleased, uh, sought to please his wife or wives, we are told, in Surah Tahrim when he should be pleasing Allah. And, uh, you know, when uh, my thing started with Surah Azab, verse 37, was that he tells Zaid to keep his wife <coughs> and fear Allah when he himself hid in his heart or soul what Allah was to reveal and he feared the people. So, we couldn't, I don't know why the ulamas, uh, religious uh, Shia ulamas, made uh, excuses for him. And what, uh, and then when it comes to the tahrif of Karbala, Ashura, then they blame the Shias because we want, you know, like, Oh my God, the sacrifice is so grand, and uh, you just the whatever you say comes not close to being there. So we thought, whatever tarif they say, it's not exaggeration, but that we want to be there and feel it. So it was always a knockout, and exaggerated at times, and then you see we can't reconcile. And uh, so the ulamas have blamed the Shias for wanting such exaggerated forms to cry and, you know, feel hyped up emotionally, like justice has not been done to Imam Hussain and his children's sacrifice in Karbala and all this, and the aftermath then of Karbala. 
शराफत का एक डोंग बेबी जैनब की चादर ओह आई वेन आई गेट वर्ड्स सो राइट नाउ आई एम सब ड्यूड एंड आई विल फाइंड वेन आई फाइंड वर्ड्स एंड द करेज अगेन या सो आई लॉस्ट माई करेज एंड आई बिकेम मीक अगेन एंड यू नो इन दिस डिप्रेशन I can't explain right now so I couldn't uh, properly upload videos about uh, this I did uh, upload some videos uh, but uh, like not up to the par so sorry I cannot uh, describe what I went through and uh, what's stopping me i don't know uh, some betrayal deep some uh, feverish uh, weakness so maybe due to betrayal yeah so please see this that we could that's escaped us she has for so long uh you know again and again i have to repeat myself to myself so I, i that's why i'm doing this video it's slow and if you want fast videos good uh, you know you can watch the other ex muslims zafar heretic sharafat ka kya don't hame bataya gaya ke bibi zainab ki chadar और हम रोते रहे रोते रहे और कभी कभी तो ऐसा शौक था कि रोना नहीं आ रहा था आंसू सूख गए थे टीयर्स एट ट्राइड अप आई आई वॉज इन सच ए शॉक सो दिस दी ऑनर फॉर वेमेन एंड why would uh, these captive poor women strong who had not seen the bazaar would be taken as captives after karbala ashura so some people like me uh it's going to take some time <coughs> for you uh, i hope the pain i can alleviate some out support is there for us so uh, uh my my record is not stuck on this thing that has been coming while i sleep in my dream honi no sharafat ka एक डोंग लाइक ऑनरिंग द वेमेन एंड हाउ लाइक इवन इफ यू रिकॉल इमाम सज्जाद विद वट वी सेट दैट पेन नवर लाइज हाउ डिट दे लाइ टू अस सो इट्स कमिंग यू नो इट्स कम टू दिस and the shia some of the shias might get very angry at me like uh, there was a shia i think was uploaded a video against an ex muslim given a shia i think sayyid but how can i tell can you see this so please have a look and then see i know bibi fatma tazara was your mother <laughs> so it's going to it uh, the sayyids double triple she has sayyids and even if there are any sunni sayyids i was told uh, through imam hasan's line uh, there are sunni sayyids never 
like only heard of them from in Pakistan. Uh, so Zaidi or some from Imam Hassan's progeny. Uh, it's going to hit them very badly. Uh, so you know they would uh, tell us like so we had to uh, now I can I'm having insights and all this that I can't express in words uh, you know like oh my god uh, so all the lies told by the Muhammad's progeny even carried continued and uh, put the whole blame on the Yazid and Ibn Ziyad and uh, Chadar Chini. Uh, they snatched the veils of the women folk, the children of Imam Hussain, a female, and uh, slapped Sakina and all this going on. Uh, so uh, it's a lot, lot of conditioning a lot of betrayal, fooling, deceiving to such an extent extent that how are you going to believe me? So if you want to see my face, actually, um, audio uh, videos are not this great. Uh, my uh, mobile isn't that great for me to show my face. And uh, I'm not a photogenic person at all. So I really don't like to show my face, but uh, I try to improve. And uh, Facebook, I, I used to sometimes show my face. Uh, so you can, Zahra, Laila Jawad on Facebook. And so this is just a raw material, video, audio, uh, like my previous ones. Most of them are like that. I'm not making proper videos. So you'll just have to do with my voice and this pitch darkness. Sometimes I put the flash on, so it's kind of white or orange or red. Uh, that's it. Uh, that's the colors you can see. So sorry. And if I try to focus on some surah, I had the, it doesn't focus sharply enough uh, to show you properly. So that's why for now, and I'm kind of uh, unwell still, a weak, feeling weak. So hopefully, let's see some other time. I'll continue with this video and uh, just like this. Uh, sorry. So consider, um, we have come far, uh, very far from what uh, I started off as in Surah Azaf verse and Surah Noor. Yes, and uh, so it uh, is very, very difficult again and again to show you and myself how our Imams even deceived us. And so why not the Umayyads would be after them? Because these were liars lying on God, the truth. Ke khuda ke saath bhi khelna. Khuda ke saath. Khuda pe bhi jhoot. Oh, lies on God. And putting blame on this one and that one. So right now I really don't have any much words, I'm still shocked. And uh, so when I muster up the courage and, uh, you know, a little bit, harden my heart, I will come back uh, to expose again this Prophet Muhammad and his evil progeny. And please don't believe in revelations and all. How can I tell you? So you'll be hitting me. Um, and this Islam also is not a religion because uh, you have to honor the one who, the teacher who brought you God information. 
So, um, see, it goes to hero worship. You have to first believe in Muhammad before believing in the message he sent, that he was only trustworthy is not uh, the, the case. So we were so naive that, we, you know, he was Al-Amin. So what? I mean, um, I wish God had given me words to express this. I mean, there are businessmen uh, in, uh, if, uh, like, necessity breeds uh, these kind of things, where you become honest because you re learn from life that honesty is the best policy or things like that, and some don't even uh, learn from life, but uh, some do. And necessity breeds uh, this kind of thing, what do you call it? Am I saying it properly off? So I have this uh, impediment problem is, but uh, if I could uh, show you how this progeny lied, you would want to um, hate them or kill them, you know, being stubborn. They're lying against God, so their own punishment against their own selves. But we have to, we want to save them from the hellfire, from the curses. This uh, Muhammad was a psychopath. Curses, liars on liars and those who say lies on God, how he, so, okay, uh, I think I will uh, abruptly stop right now, I'm still not um, eligible uh, at this moment to talk about this, uh, but when I uh, do get myself eligible, I will continue with this video, thank you so much.